sayang naman if this vintage barong stays in a baul. No one can wear it. No one's ever gonna see it. It's stained. It's mothballs up the sleeves. But this part is still good. Just this part is still good. Let's do something with that. Hi, my name is Jody, and I am a collector of beautiful things that have a story. I keep it all here within our little shop, uh, Glorious DS at Escolta at the Hubmake Lab. You can also find us at Common Room PH within the Power Plant Mall in Rockwell. So when we first opened in Poblacion, there were a few pieces. There were like some skirts and like some boxy kimonas that made out of um, vintage tablecloths that we carried. But it was never really part of the experience. And reworked only became part of our, our, our vocabulary as Glorious Diaz because of the pandemic. So here I am trying to sell, sell mga on-hand socks namin. Not all of it sold. It kept piling up. Paano to? I can't just keep going like... One week later, the same item. Uh -huh. I think the joy in finding things is one, how much cheaper it is. It's an economical choice as well. Because it's medyo nakakatipid if you're using an old wooden crate as your coffee table versus a coffee table. Yeah, there are joys to looking at things differently. Seeing things beyond what they are uh, and imagining what they can become, how, how can they be of use, can a lampshade someday become a hat, can, I don't know, can this toilet paper roll holder become part of a costume one day, just, just things like that. So I think there's a joy in imagination and playfulness that keeps me feeling young. My first impulse isn't to buy new. I think there's a lot of character when you assemblage, when you take, when you kind of collage parts of your life, whether it's your house, your outfit, it makes for a, a more in interesting experience, both for yourself especially, and just for how you exist in the world. When I come across an item, do I immediately see what we could possibly do with it? Maybe not. If anything, I see who might want it. I see a customer in my head, whether they're real or not, or imagine it. I see someone who might appreciate it. Some people like what I think is ugly, someone might appreciate. What someone thinks is ugly, I appreciate. Ganun talaga if it's vintage and like one of a kind. The fact that it's one of a kind is the special part. When it comes to rework, that's kind of how we approach it. Reworked is almost the last resort. For us, you can rework whatever you want, guys. Again, disclaimer, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but this is what works for us and this is how kind of we approach things. It's really the last resort. If you see something, can it be fixed? Can it be mended? Does it just need tailoring? Does it just need alteration? Can it be dyed over? Does it need to be bleached out? Those kinds of things. And then it's like, wala magawa talaga. But sayang naman. Sayang naman if this vintage barong stays in a baul. No one can wear it. No one's ever gonna see it. It's stained, it's mothballs up the sleeves. But this part is still good. Just this part is still good. Let's do something with that. It is a bit of a waiting game. It, you kind of leave some of it to fate for sure. But yeah, fundamentally, I think reworked. I'm seeing so much of it lately online. And it's amazing. It's amazing to see people's imaginations. U utilizing the thing beyond what it was originally designed or intended for. I love, I love seeing that. I love, I'm inspired by that. When I talk about rework, I don't mean that we are like taking a piece and then chopping it up and making it something totally new, unrecognizable from its original form. For the most part, as little cuts as possible. So even this, this used to be long sleeve, pero mapawis ako. Chop. Easy enough. That's a really nice, simple DIY. Maybe one day I'll turn these into shorts and use the use the sleeves for a tote bag or something. Another another piece was like our mood dresses. It's just a tubular piece of fabric, very much like our malong, our, our traditional textile as well. Multi-use, multi-purpose, 
I feel the Malong, the Patajok, is one of the smartest pieces of clothing and it's done in beautiful textiles and something we can celebrate. So the mood dress, there's different ways to wear it. We just wanted to keep it along those lines and there's very minimal cuts. I wouldn't say no waste because we do cut. It's as close to a no waste design as possible. So aprons was one of like my obsessions during pandemic. We wanted to create an apron, an apron that served many things. It was utilitarian one because a lot of the crafting, baking, cooking was happening during that time. So one, it was useful. Could we make something beautiful as well? Something that maybe can, can look like something that is not an apron. So we added, you know, mga ruffles here, nice patterns and a nice neckline. And all of that was really inspired by a classic pinafore. We're not reinventing anything. It was a way for us to, one, make use of the textiles we had on hand that weren't selling, that were maybe damaged already, and introduce something new to our customers. And that was really fun. We kept going. I think as artists or as creatives, we're so used to not throwing anything away because resources are scarce or there's always something a work in progress, right? Everything's a work in progress. Why it's special or meaningful to do that for us is because usually Filipiniana is for special occasions. So it doesn't really, we don't, we don't get to experience it enough. So it was a way to take something that's like probably just gonna stay in the dark or nakatabe, basura lang. To take that and bring it into everyday aspects, daily aspects of our lives, whether that's a pair of button earrings out of a barong, uh, whether it's a, a little wall hanging that we have available at Common Room. A way to take that, those elements of our, our shared heritage, and bring it into everyday. So instead of that barong being tucked away, I now see it every day. 